A Terminator. Yes, Jock. I am you from the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard all that crap last time. But, uh, you said you could do a review for me. What's the review? A monster in Paris. That piece of garbage. Hey, hey, hey. Monster in Paris is actually an underrated film, in my opinion. It has beautiful animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it for you. What are you doing? Oh, not that much. Pretending to be you. Got it. I am the Dominator. I'm filling in for Jack this evening. Today we are doing a stupid movie called The Monster in Paris. You might be thinking, oh, aren't you Jack? No, I am not. Anyways, Jack gave me a list of things about the monster in Paris. Now, prepare to be. Prepare for original opinion to be dominated. <sighs> Monster in Paris is, according to Jack, one of the most underrated films ever. It is beautiful animation, according to him. I'm going to take these. I'm going to take off my shades. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just thought the whole Terminator opening thing would be kind of fun. Uh, I don't know what glasses are these. Uh, apparently, they're used for, like, filming stuff. Yeah, you can, like, use these as a camera C. So I thought that'd be good for a video one day. Just just tell me in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, I decided to do this after my ocarina video. But considering yesterday was my grandma and grandpa's birthday, I want to say, I didn't have any time, so... Ta -da. Uh yeah. We are going to we are going to review one of my favorite movies of all time, Monster in Paris. It is so it is still on Netflix, so if you haven't watched it, watch it. Uh yeah. Unless you're watching this in the future and Netflix did a stupid idea of getting rid of the monster in Patty. Patty. Uh yeah, it is a beautiful animated film. It is a great story about a person being called a monster when it turns out that the hero of the story is the monster. Now, I know you're probably like, yeah, like tons of other movies have done that, Jack. So maybe, uh, buzz off. But this time it's different. This time it's very different. Instead of a human being transformed into, into like a monster, like a hairy beast, it's actually... Truly a bug that's been transformed into the size of a human. So it's still pretty different, actually. Because now we get to see a bug act like he... Now we get to see a bug uh, be a normal day thing. Talk about, like, political stuff and stuff. Like, I think that would actually be another show on Netflix. Monster in the chat room. He's just, like, chatting drinking coffee. I said, yeah, I think the political system is a little wonky, but I think we can pull it through. And so I was like, yeah, maybe you're right. I got no clue what you're doing. I'm just like talking because I have coffee in my hand. Not really. I just like drink <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Jack. But yeah. Now let's get on to the actual review. The Monster in Paris. Is, I'm gonna I'm gonna name three things. Considering this is a musical movie, yes, it is a musical movie. It might not seem like that at first, but when you watch the entire scene, you're gonna realize, hey, that's a musical. I didn't know that. Yeah, it is pretty good. It is not like a musical where you get like a musical number every five seconds like most movies. Yeah, but uh. It is a movie that brings the musical numbers at the exact right moment. Uh, when the girl is singing, when the monkey just gets an experiment, and finally, like, the bug is, like, singing with her, and before that, he's, like, singing out of sadness, like, no one wants a monster and patty. I'm actually going to do, like, a musical video one day. I am not, like, 
put it down in the comment section below. Do you want me to do like a musical? Like, no one wants a YouTuber like me in this zone of YouTube comments, rivers of streaming like a god. No one wants this to be so, so maybe I should stop. Or a rap song like, yeah, 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 I'm going to go. It's up to you guys. Like, personally, I like the other one before the whole thing. So maybe this is because I don't like rap too much. Or maybe like one of those songs like, do, 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 some legends are gold, some turn to gust or to gold, but you will remember me. Anyways, yeah, I'm getting off track. Again, I get so off track. Uh, yeah, its animation is very well done. Uh, I actually saw this before everyone else. Not like in theaters or something, but like, when you're seeing the scene where the monster is scaring these guys who are trying to collect pearls, you can see the monster is holding a pearl. Like, mm, mm, that is genius. Like, these people are underrated. I would love to see these guys work on Coco. Coco 2? Maybe. Maybe not. No one can top the original Coco. But still, it could happen. I mean, it wouldn't be as good, but you know. So that's animation and music out, but what about plot? Of course, I'm only going to name three things because I'm making a short video. I mean, the only reason I did this video was so the Terminator joke would happen. I just came up with the whole Monster in Paris review out of nowhere. The plot is very basic. You got your damsel. You got... A couple that want to, that both love each other, but one's too scared to ask the other one out. And you got your classic monster that's called a monster, but is more human than the protector. Same basic plot, blah, blah, blah. But, have you noticed all of them are separated? Mm -hmm. Instead of the girl wanting to be in love with this other guy, and this other guy wants to be in love with her, but she's not man enough to, like, say that to him. It's another couple in the same movie. Like, I just like how they, like, brought out two separate stories at the same time. Like, you're seeing a chain of regression. You're seeing them evolve throughout the movie. Like, you see him want to be a hero to the girl, so... After he's found out that the monster isn't bad, he's basically more of a hero than a hero in the city. So, he's worked up enough courage to tell her she loves him. I mean, he loves her. Which, I just like it. It's like a progression. And at the end of the film, the guy who's talked about how much he hates her. And the monster is not in love with the girl. The monster is just like friends with the girl. Which is why it's so sad when you see him die. Or, supposedly. So, yeah, that was a spoiler. Sorry. I gotta I work on that spoiler alert. But, uh, yeah. It's sad. Like, you see the monster's dead. But then, you realize that... Wait, the flower can ungrow into a seed? Does that mean... Like, yeah. Like, that works. Like, it's great. And at the end, the guy who's talked about how much he, he hates the girl or, and has been teased about liking the girl finally comes out and she likes him. They've been teasing each other for years. Like, just a great film. The Dominator the Tickleese. I thought this was going to be a video all about me. You can do a review about your own stinking movie. Good. Arnold Schwarzenegger's out. Jesus, dude, that was my iPad. I can't afford a camera, dude. That was my iPad. God dang it, dude. You know, you know I can't really afford a camera, dude. Like, oh my, is that the same?